Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressor feta pule kapas. From that day, the creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Now, please listen very carefully. Every dimension of results you see, listen carefully. Whether it came from a man of God or God as you call it, or it came from a herbalist, or it came from diviners, are we together now? If you ever see any result that is superhuman, it was a manipulation of spiritual laws there is only one force and one power once have i spoken and twice that how many all if it ever works is because the power of god not necessarily god was involved in that process if god is not involved in that process it does not work and without him was not anything made including the result of a heathen without him was not anything made that was made but this is let me explain to you why it seems to happen even without their loyalty to god there are three dimensions of accessing the power of god in this kingdom maybe i'll wrap up with it tonight Number one is the dimension of God's power and grace that comes through encounters, direct encounters with God. When you have a solid encounter with the God of the Bible, there is a dimension of power that is given to you as a token, as a reward for your press for meeting him. Now, the highest level of spiritual power that can be given to a man comes through that platform. Please listen carefully. Are we together now? That when a man so presses beyond all the distractions and eventually you are able to touch the heart of God in a way that causes him to reveal himself to you. The law is found in Jeremiah 29 and verse 13. And you shall seek me, he says, and find me when you search for me with all your heart. That means if you don't find me, the diagnosis is that something in your heart is not seeking for me. The jealousy of God mandates that all of you is directed towards him for you to really find him. Are we together? Yes, sir. So encounters. What is an encounter? An experience that makes God real. An experience, generally speaking, that furnishes the reality of whether a person, an idea, whatever it is to you. When you have, it doesn't have to be a visionary, in, in a visionary way. But the assignment of an encounter is to create conviction. Without encounters, the saints will not have conviction. But I know whom I believe. Not just that I believe him, I know whom I believe. And I am persuaded it is on the strength of encounters that the apostle can say what shall separate us from the love of God it's not a memory verse it's a product of an encounter please listen to me you must trust God for the grace to press to when one encounter with God will answer many prayer points at once there are many, many kinds of prayers you will not pray again when you really have an encounter. One of my dear people will always say that when you have these encounters, it will reduce your prayer points and increase your prayer life. Everybody say encounters. You must desire encounters with all your heart. There are certain dimensions of anointings for a generation. No, it will come through encounters. And can I tell you this? Sincerely, when it comes, it has come. It will be clear that the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elisha. 
if you are still doubting and hoping is there or it's not, it's, then it means it's not there. Number two, very quickly, the second platform that affords us the opportunity to receive the unction and the possibilities to demonstrate the might of God in this kingdom is the mysteries or the principles of the kingdom, such as what I'm teaching you now. There is a dimension of the power of God invested in these principles. You don't have to believe him to access it. You just, it is controlled by knowledge and understanding, not intimacy. You don't, intimacy is not a condition to receive power at that level. It is knowledge and understanding. So I can ignore the God of the Bible and through the humility and meekness, I can learn from people who have found these patterns they may not admit the god who delivered it like the secular the business principles they used to excel the leadership principles these are all principles if it ever works is because there is god in that equation now they may not desire an encounter with that god but understanding has brought them to a point where they are able to walk those principles. And there is a dimension of his power invested in principles. If, God forbid not to play with your mind, but if a terrorist decides to sow in rainy season, the soil, the earth will not refuse to produce because there is a pattern. The power of God has already been, in, it's already invested in that. Are, are we together now? Yes. Someone can be insulting God and still have a child after nine months because there is a pattern. Are we together now? Someone will insult God before he goes to bed and wake up in the morning and keep insulting again because there is a pattern. It is the second level. The key to receiving at that level is not intimacy. The key to receiving at that level is understanding. Are we together? The third platform is called... alignment let me explain it the third platform for receiving power in this kingdom is called covenant alignment please say covenant alignment and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you 
have to round up. Listen. Look at me. Do you know the way God advances his kingdom, pastor, is that when God wants to introduce a dimension of his possibilities to a generation, he finds a man. Everybody say a man. Amen. Not men. He finds a man and enters a personal covenant with that man through the sacrifice of alignment he enters a personal covenant with that man are we together now that covenant becomes the legitimate authorization for God to reveal that dimension of him in the earth and for as long as that man is alive any other person who must host that dimension of God must be able to do it in alignment to God and that system he has created. I pray that your eyes will be open to what I'm sharing with you. Hmm. So, there are men who are carrying anointings. There are men who are carrying mantles. But there are men who are spiritual systems. Don't be carried away by the body you are looking at. And it is not everybody, but this is true. Read your Bible and you will see that there are men, it was not mantles they carried. Abraham did not carry mantles. Abraham was a spiritual system that was referred to in Isaiah 51 that if you want to study what it means to be blessed in the kingdom look unto Abraham your father and to Sarah that bore you I called him and blessed him and increased him Abraham is my recommended portrait for the blessing you ever ignore that reality if you like serve God as much as you want he will refer you back to that pattern pattern number two system number two Jacob Jacob is God's biblical pattern for encounters that every time you want to encounter God the individual that embodies that revelation is Jacob <laughs>
after defrauding him, after wasting his time, God said, let's try again. Now Genesis 32, Jacob dismissed his wives. Jacob dismissed his animals. When he was alone, God said, let me see if you can get it this time around. Then came a man in the night. Listen carefully. Jacob held him and he said, I missed it the first time. I have learned through my pain the value of your presence. I have learned through my pain. Listen carefully. He said, leave me for the day breaketh. And Jacob said, I will not let you go unless. Now watch this. Let me show you how the God of Jacob was being formed. That God captured that experience and added his name on it. And said, you can study the God of Jacob by studying Jacob. Are we blessed? These men were not carrying mantles. They were spiritual systems. The dimension of God committed to them is still valid today. And then he said, what is your name? That means everything that has to do with a true encounter must affect your identity, must affect your office, must affect your authority. Because it's a, a name is a dimension of identification. A name can represent a limitation like Jabez. Are we together? What is your name? And he says, Jacob. He says, thou shalt no more be called Jacob. For as a prince, you have had power with God and you have prevailed. And he touched his thigh. That means the condition for a genuine encounter is that something must be in your life that makes you incomplete without God. Jacob, if you want an encounter, I must do something to you that leaves you permanently deficient without me. So I become the completer of your life. Then the Bible says he blessed him and the sun arose and he called that place Peniel, the face of God. For I have seen God face to face and my life is spared. And God said, Jacob, congratulations. You, you did not just qualify for an experience. You have become a spiritual system to model how men can find God. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.